Hello everyone, this is video number five of the Landing Gear series for modeling and assembly. Today we are going to do the wheel hub, which is this component here. This is going to be the last component um, for the modeling. On the next video, I'm going to go over the total assembly of all those components. So let's begin. Let's create a new part. Before I create a new part, I'm going to, I'm going to bring up the, the wheel hub so you can follow me when I'm doing the sketch. So once we're here, let's go to options and let's change the units to millimeters and let's hit OK. First, we're going to use the revolve command but before that, we need to create a quick sketch. And let's take the origin for to create the rectangle. It's always a good idea to, um, to start from the origin point. This will make it easier for um, later on for assembly, dimensioning, applying mates, and all that good stuff. So this is going to be 40. Um, and let's provide this dimension and this is 120. This is 120. Now that we have that, we can um, close and use the revolve command. And the axis for the axis of revolution, let's pick this line and hit OK. Next, let's create this component here. Since this is uh, symmetrical, we're just going to do one side and mirror for the other component. So let's take the front plane and create a sketch. So once we are here, I'm just going to create a center line. So I can use that for reference. And um, going to create a um, you know what let me create another center line here and I'm let's create a circle this is going to be um, it's going to be 25 in diameter let me dimension this distance here and this is going to be 30. I'm going to make this distance equal to zero so it can be at the center. And the um to create now this line here. That line from the center of actually from the edge. We can make this 10 and this dimension here we can make it uh, 40 so if we want to make this um, center we can provide a 20 millimeters dimension so once we have that we can uh, close the sketch by connecting the line to the circle after that we can, i'm going to apply a relationship here and let's make it tangent similarly on the other side we can make it tangent as well um, i'm going to create now this hole at the middle and let's provide a dimension of 15 millimeters in diameter. Um, this 15, yep. So now let's trim these lines that we don't need. And now we are ready to provide a thickness. And let's go to extrude boss 
make sure this direction one we have mid plane so this will create an and a thickness for both direction in a symmetric way so this is 30 millimeters and let's hit OK. So after we have this, uh, we can we can go to the mirror feature, and the the features to mirror is already selected. As you can see, it's highlighted. So we're going to mirror that um, about the right plane. So like the right plane, and you can see the preview here. And let's hit OK. So that's how you will create that. Uh, next, let's create this this uh, circular component component at the bottom. It's called a front plane, and, um, and let's create a circle here. This is going to be. 55 millimeters in diameter and the distance from the center of the circle to the bottom of the component is going to be 40. Okay. Um, we can hit OK and uh, let's provide a, a thickness. We can say uh, this is. 120 millimeters. Again, make sure that this uh, under direction one mid plane is selected. And let's hit OK. Now let's create that. Uh, we can use the front plane again to create that hole. And this hole is going to be 40, 40 millimeters in diameter. So let's dimension it 40 and let's hit OK. Now we're ready to create a cut. Um, this looks fine to me and let's hit OK. Next, let's create this cutout on top. And if you notice, it doesn't go through all the, the entire component it has a, a depth of 20 millimeters so let's select the top face and let's create a sketch let's create a circle and let's dimension this this is going to be 45 millimeters in diameter let's hit ok so once we do that, we can go back to the extruder cut and um, this time we can select blind. So it goes to one direction only. And as I mentioned before, the depth of this cutout is going to be 20 millimeters. And let's hit OK. OK, so now if you notice uh, there are a few fillets that we need to add here and the for that we can just go to fillets and the fillet radius is going to be one millimeter so we can select that face we can select this face um, let's hit okay to see how it looks okay so it looks fine to me uh, let's check if we are missing any fillets yes so we need more fillets on the inside so let's select that and hit ok next we will apply a chamfer 45 degree chamfer to to these three holes for that let's go to chamfer and make these 0.5 and the the angle will keep it at 45 so now let's select the edges for those um, circles so we need this we need that as well and lastly this one here that looks fine to me and let's hit okay 
So this is how you will create the uh, the wheel hub. So on the next video, um, as I mentioned at the beginning, I'm going to do the total assembly of the landing gear as shown here. So this concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.